sweet love that woke me up and saved my soul. I used to be so immature. You made me grow and brought me home. Now everything right, right, right. There's something inside of me coming alive. With you and me side by side, like what you were saying. And it's like, like, like I'm looking at life through your wonderful eyes And I'm feeling I'm high and I'm loving the ride Cause you're coming along My love, you are the only one You where it all comes from You are my soul and son You are the only one My love, you are the only one You made it beautiful I you are the only one What's up internet? So as you can see Random hike day Pillbox in Lani Kai, one of our favorite trails. One of our favorite trails to make ourselves tired. But it's such a beautiful view, look at that. Today is our non-Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day dinner. We don't ever go out to dinner on Valentine's Day. That's just crazy. All the reservations are taken up, restaurants are packed, service goes down, sometimes food quality goes down. So, we never go to dinner on Valentine's Day. Admittedly, it has been a while since we've done this trail. I'm quite out of shape. She's been exercising. Help me. Necessarily celebrating Valentine's dinner. Not necessarily. We're not celebrating. We're not celebrating Valentine's. It's just an excuse to use a lot of money. Exactly. Well, we like food. So for dinner, we are going to. We're going to Izakaya Gaku. Really authentic Japanese sushi place. We've gone here once before on like our anniversary or something like that. We've been wanting to go back again. So I think today's the day. Let's go. Before we go in though, I think we're both trying the omakase, which means it's up to the chef what he wants to cut and make sushi for us. There's one for like $150 per person that the sushi just keeps coming until we tell them to stop. But we're not going to do that. We're going to do a cheaper one, it's like $70 per person and you get 10 pieces or 10 sushis each, but he does get to choose. We did try the omakase last time and it was really good, so I think we're going to do that. I'm not too sure about full-on vlogging inside this place because it's an uber authentic Japanese sushi place. So I'm kind of be just vlogging on the down low and uh, just videotaping our food. So let's go. So last time we sat at the sushi bar in front of the sushi chef, but we didn't really have a conversation, so we're just sitting at a regular table this time. And she's having a Ichigo Japanese beer. How is it? It's beer. <laughs> just tastes like beer. Is it as dry as Asahi? Uh, no. That's only like four dollars compared to like six or eight dollars or more at regular restaurants. Look at all the art. This is two hundred dollars. Oh, for sale. We can do prints like that with our picture. I swear I've seen that wave before. This is the menu. Heartwood. It's kind of cool. Pages and pages of sushi, desserts, and other Japanese food. <laughs> But this is what we got right here. Well, they have regular rolls and everything too. And you can order a la carte. As you can see by the prices, it is pretty pricey, but it's really good. 
So we're thinking to reserve one of those small Japanese, not small, but the low Japanese tables. I think you need a bigger party because we just saw like a party of four, four or five go there. It's starting to pack in now. If you've never tried better fish, black cod, try it. Especially from really authentic Japanese places, it's really good. It's like butter. I just realized it's been a while since we've vlogged the restaurant. Thank you. This is like a mini. Sea urchin. Little Nemo. Finding Nemo. Here's our platter. Did you understand everything she said? No. All I know is I'm eating this one. I didn't understand everything she said, but I'm gonna eat it. Yeah, I think this is clam. <laughs> That's clam? It's shrimp. Okay, we're ordering something else. So if you guys don't know, they put ginger with the sushi so you can cleanse your palate in between sushi so you can really taste the sushi. Wait, what is this? What did you give me? Oh, I want to try this. That is very fishy. So good though. So we are also reading that you're supposed to dip it in the shoyu, then you turn the sushi sideways, and then you place the fish first upside down on your tongue to taste the fish better. Whether that works or not, I don't know. You think that works? I bet I eat it like that. Is this a Otoro? Which is this body too? My favorite. You should leave that for a little bit. And eat the other ones Ooh. first. Sea urchin or uni. Once you get past the texture, I like the taste. She doesn't. Tiny squid. Tiny squid. Man, I ate the heck out of my food. So with platters like this, you always want to save the best ones for last. So the otoro and the beef are the best ones. Oh, that's one of my favorites. So that's probably like the third best. I'm probably gonna eat that or that first or the egg then that then I gotta decide between these two decisions hard decisions I think we're gonna order a little bit more because she didn't like all the fishy tasting stuff so we're gonna order a few more things on the menu all right 
Otoro or the Wagyu? I'm gonna try the Otoro first. Yeah. This is heavier tasting because it's um, beefy. Fatty ahi. We're deciding between the Otoro and uh, the Wagyu. <laughs> I'll go with the Otoro. If you like the sauce on the Wagyu, you guys can do the Aburi Toro, so the seared Otoro. Oh. It's not on the menu, but it's with garlic. We seared the Otoro and we put garlic soy sauce on top. I'm stressed. Oh, you're, okay. We'll try that. Yes, please. Here goes the Wagyu. You should have done that one without soy sauce. It's still good. You okay? But is it? Wasabi's hitting my nose. <laughs> that one was good. But is it just the sauce like she was saying? Because I remember we had the otoro with the sauce on it. So I thought it was a ponzu sauce. But it was amazing. Because really we had the otoro with, without being seared. And then afterwards, we had it with seared. And it was like so much better than without seared. Chicky, chicky. Is there any dessert? Dessert of the evening. You can ask. Okay, so maybe we'll ask what that is, and then we'll try to get that. Seared total. With garlic soy sauce. Garlic. Garlic soy sauce. Is that what it was? Oh, it just falls apart. Oh my god. Mm. Tastes like fireworks. <laughs> Does it, it does. I, don't know, I might like the wagyu better. That's good all together with the rice and the shoyu and everything. This is the best thing I ate tonight. Yeah. Yeah. I come here to just eat this. That was because really good. That was really good. <laughs> Probably forty dollars. That was really good, but I think I think I'm sticking to the wagyu. Maybe it's just because I haven't had steak in a while, so. Yeah, I think that's what it is. But it, was, it had a really good taste to it. Wagyu. Well, I've never really had wagyu before. Yes, you have. When? There was one time we went to Azor a very long time ago, oh, the first yeah, time ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And yeah. we had a, a wagyu carpaccio. Type I don't know. Thing. That was an A5 more... though. Huh? That wasn't A5 though. That wasn't A5 either. We gotta get some A5 wagyu. We gotta go to Japan. Japan. Soon, Tokyo Auto Salon. You know what? So that's gonna conclude our dinner at Izakaya Gaku. Just to kind of give you an idea, here's the restaurant. Here is King Street. One way, we're right across from the interstate building, 1314. I think the address of this place is 1329 South King Street. But it's a very good place for sushi. We still have to try the other izakayas, so we'll do that, we'll review it, we'll compare it to this place. But this is our number one izakaya right now. A little bit pricey, but well worth it. Recommend, check it out. I will link the website. If they have a website, website or, Yelp. or Yelp, I'll link it down below or just Google it, Izakaya Gaku. Other than that, thank you for joining us on our anti-Valentine's dinner, not on Valentine's Day, and we will see you in the next video. Oh, by the way, they do have their own parking lot. There's a main, main road over there and there's a small, tiny driveway that you drive through this tunnel. It's very easy to miss. Very easy to miss. It doesn't but they look do like have parking back here. Yeah. Get here early enough, you do you can get parking. Best so. if you come before six o'clock. Once it's about around six o'clock, it's all reservation and you can't come in until seven. 
and then the wait is from like an hour to 40 minutes so it's better to get here when they first open which is 5 30 is when they open five o'clock is when they open. open from five to six that window is an opportunity it wasn't too bad though our reservation was at 5 30. we got here at like six because of traffic good old oahu but there were still like uh like two or three parkings left so we got lucky but definitely get her early if you try here You made me grow and brought 